Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to the Bible 3 d model. In this video, this is the part 2 of the last video, like we made tourist tag Goku. So in this video, we will make its claws and uh, here and rig it like this and we'll pose it into this. So without wasting our time, let's get started. So first of all, I will make its hair so it will look a little completed then we will make its cloth. First of all, from the side view, I am going to select the faces for the hair and then duplicate them, make them a separate piece and color them black and light gray like this and, and then set it from here, here and there, extrude and alt s make thick from, from all sides and move the forward edges, uh, front edges and move them a little down to make it a little spiky from the front it doesn't look too smooth from the front and something like that so next thing is I will duplicate these four faces convert them to a circle and I will make the first hair like this extrude it a bunch of times scale it it and I will adjust it like this. We have to look from every side for the correct for correct shape and the placing of the hair. So we have to deselect every else faces and alt s and make the hair a lot thick because it's an anime character. So we have to make it like big hair and far too far too far from the head. We may have to sculpt some areas to make it the perfect shape we want. Now duplicate the hair and place it correctly from the other side. Date it and name it and place it like this. We have to look from every side every time. Then it will be perfectly we want. So we need to focus on the one side and we will set it to the other side as well. Okay, I will duplicate it a bunch of times to make it uh, to the whole head. Make it like this. Now make one side and we can duplicate one piece and make it from the other side. We, we have to make it look to this style because we want to make it look that way and it will be a lot easier to make it and a lot good so for the back i will duplicate one here and rotate it to the back now set it from all side like this yeah and move it a little down like this remember to save your work as you do something and now the hair is looking good now okay okay I have duplicated a bunch of times and made it like this from all sides now we can set the slider make that light go that way or something like this and we can set it only the shader slider we need to set then it will look automatically to this style. Okay. Like this, we can set the slider from here or from the materials and make it look like this. We need to make one more hair set, but that will, I will make in the later later on. First, I need to set some lights, some background for the final render image this is the color i will use for the second hair but i will adjust it and make it later okay we need some clothes on it but first let's make the hand to make it look completed i will add a cube and move it to the side add three loopers here and one here and i am using a very simple technique to make the hand like this insert every top face and extrude it and extrude it a bunch of time and adjust it like this 
this is a very easy way and a perfect way to make hands like this and we will add subdivision surface modifier and it will look smooth this now tweak some faces and make it like that so add, use this technique to make hands and it will be automatically look good and yeah we can use it any, anywhere to the any character now select the fingers from the top make them circle one by one like this now insert the very top face and extrude it individually like this now hand is looking perfect tweak the faces and fill the bottom face and now rotate it make it to the body then scale the this loop and make it closer to the hand closer to the arm and then adjust it according to the wrist now make it a separate piece and then apply the apply the modifiers now bridge it merge some vertices which are not necessary and not in use now the hand is looking good and it is looking perfect now duplicate a loop from the wrist and then move it a little to the outside and then scale it I will make the wrist cuffs add two loopers in the middle and scale them to the outer side I will use a solidify modifier give it some thickness or we can use some extrusion and fill it from the bottom like this nice and easy now give it a shoe texture and color it a little blue then it will look good so I, we are making details from the every part so why don't we make the details for the shoes now scale this loop from the shoes and duplicate this loop make it a separate piece we have to make the rope it can be low poly so make it simple and round from every side make four to six vertices all around the loop do that by extruding and merge them by bridging them separately okay now we have to make the knot it is very simple select these four faces scale them extrude them put them like this now duplicate this face extrude it and make the rope like that it will look a lot realistic and very nice and now we are done now select the faces where we want the red color in the shoes like this give it a separate texture color it red and we are done and we can still adjust the slider and set the color shoes are done like this now save your work and shoes is done we are adding details to every part and they are looking perfect now it's time to make the claws or we can first add some details by selecting the loops around and highlight the muscles of this of his body like moving this face inward like that or selecting these edges inward like this this won't be visible a lot but it will be highlighted when we look from the other other side highlight these by extruding or inserting some like from the front side and the chest piece chest side by extruding it and insert it like this now bevel these pieces these loops and it's like this loop and alt s and scale it inward now we are getting highlighted muscles like this now when we rotate the light we, we can see it very easily and they look great now we have to adjust the lights and now and then background to make it a lot better so it's up to us how we create the background and set the lighting so then play with it a little and we, you will get something really great I have made the 
elbow bone from the back like this now highlight the shoulders as well make them round like this this is looking perfect in the solid i just highlighted the front piece so it will be visible next to the shirt to add the details for the hair i duplicated the hair and make it a lot thin i will duplicate it a bunch of time and place it here and there create in every side like this a little detailed and give it a little personality and look like this and i am loving it what about you come comment me down below for the clothes i will add a cube but first we need to make it in depots i am doing this because we don't want any trouble and we pose it just like this and make it a little down our character is looking good snap snap the vertices around if you want for the single mesh piece because it is a multiple of multiple pieces object After the snapping is done, now we can move on to the clothes. I added a cube and a subdivision and a mirror modifier. I'm using a auto mirror tool for the mirror. And now it's time to set the shirt. In a shirt, I will make a light blue one. I will adjust it from front and then apply the modifier to adjust it in detail. Set it according to the reference and make it like this. And delete the faces you don't want and move them close to the body. So give give it some thickness or use a solidify modifier for better result. Fill the gaps and then set it like this. Up the inner shirt is looking good. Now we will. I will duplicate this part and then make the outer jacket. It is a long jacket from the top to the legs. So I will extrude it like this from here and then to the legs. I will make it a separate piece later on, but for now I will make it in one piece. Duplicate it. Oh, sorry. Extrude it multiple times and move it down. Scale it. Adjust it like this. We can make any type of clothes with this method. So use it in making clothes like this. Give it some thickness from the solidified modifier. So give it a new texture with the same slides. Then we will we can adjust it with this yes color palette color ramp slider. Now we can add we will add detail to it after we apply the modifier like this to the i will do the same thing to the belt as well i have applied the modifier and now scaling i am scaling these loops and rotating them to give it some randomness and distortion like that and now it is looking perfect and it it is giving a nice shape with this texture like that it is looking more natural i will extrude these duplicate these faces and make the eyebrows like this and make it a separate piece with the same body we color the same black color like i have what i have given to the hair and for that eyes i have i will make with the same face some subdivision Our character is almost done. 
now it's time to add some details and in the last we will rig it now add some wrinkles and some foldings out of clothes like from the arms and some collars like this and do, the, do the same thing to the outer shirt as well less detail is very important then, and it will be highlighted as i said earlier i will make the second here i have added an image that is to the side now we have we just have to make it as uh, rotate and duplicate and set set it from every side that's the main thing so do some if work and duplicate a bunch of time to make it like that we have to use only one here and duplicate that a bunch of times it is an anime character so it is it has a good look from the hair and from the body so we can make it as good as possible until it looks good now move the vertices outer outside so it will not look empty from the inside and it will look like it is a hair and it is like spiky to the all over the head now it it has the same shader i have to make it the yellow and a little orange to the bottom and a little darker to the very bottom now our character need to be rig needs a little rig we don't need the face bones so delete them i have set the rest of the bone of the body to the yes the places they are we don't need to we don't need all the face bone so i will delete every face bone we can adjust it and place it in the face but we don't need that we can use the shape keys or blend shapes for this now set everything after we apply the rig now generate the rig and apply the scale like this hide the manual rig transfer weight to the clothes it is a very helpful tool to transfer weight to the clothes so we don't have to pin at every piece to the body it will be the weights will be transferred automatically to, to the clothes and they will work perfectly now we can pose it and we will want on now i will pose it like a, yes like it is standing and angry and has power then we can set the background then it will be the final result now it's time to pose it make it fist like this and they are looking a little weird so adjust it manually or do that separately put legs a little wide and like this we can make the plant shapes by moving the mesh around and we can use that do that by sliding the value we can play the plant shapes play the shape is from there can animate the mouth by the by this method but we don't need that blend shape is a easy way to animate mouth and some mesh parts as like that so i added a background image like it is a power of goku but it didn't work for me so i will use i will not use this image and add simple background light and some word lighting like this so image is not in use so i won't use it
background is looking fine for me and we have this bright yellow color so it's up to us how we create these these kind of stuff the character the shader and the background lighting it will make our character look good and gives a nice image to add into our pro portfolio and something like that we can post it anywhere so that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video with a new character i love this